look at somebody and say, I'm going to ask you a question. Hope you don't get offended. <laughs> right. Ask them, why are you coming here every week? <laughs> I mean, why are you coming? So Jesus asked his disciples, why are you going to the wilderness? Right? Why are you going out to the wilderness? What are you going there to see? Are you going to see a reed moving in a wind? Or are you going to see a well-dressed man? What are you going to see? Because droves of people were going out to the wilderness to see John the Baptist. So he wanted his guys to know, why are you guys going out to see, you know? Really want to know. Because if you go and listen to him and get what he is trying to say, then you'll be coming to me. So... Again, why are you coming? See, most of you, most of you have this obligation to go to church on a Sunday morning. Otherwise, your conscience will disturb you. Some of you have gone beyond that, right? That's why you don't come regularly. Uh, for you, you are operating in higher realm of revelation. Uh, but most of you go to a church or come here because that's what Christians do on a Sunday morning. And to go to some church and listen to some crap, it's better to travel all the way and come here and listen something worthwhile. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, why go listen to something that disturbs you? Why go listen to something that, you know, makes you lose your sleep? Already, you are trying to get your sleep. And you don't want some stuff that will make you lose your sleep on a Sunday morning too. Some of you come here to sleep. That's a different story. <laughs> because you have lost your sleep all through the week. Uh, so, again, why, why are you here? There is a very, uh, there is a reason, look at some, say there is a reason. Uh, it's not because I don't have anything better to do and you don't have anything better to do, we are here. Yeah? We are not here to give attendance to God. There is a reason why we are here. And we should know what the reason is. And why in such a form, if you say I'm here, coming here to fellowship, honestly, fellowship doesn't happen on, in such a setting. Right? So, this I'm coming to fellowship doesn't fit in to a Sunday morning thing. If at all you take effort to go and meet someone during the week and fellowship, that's where fellowship happens. Here fellowship doesn't happen. Here teaching happens. So what is the reason for the teaching? Why are you sitting and listening to me for an hour and why am I, you know, shouting my lungs out for an hour? I want, I thought, after 10 years at least, let me tell you the reason. <laughs> Right? Uh, Colossians chapter 1 verse 25. I'm reading it from the Passion. I'm reading it from the Passion translation. This is the very reason. This is the very reason I have been made a minister by the authority of God and a servant 
to his body so that in his detailed plan i would fully equip you with the word of god why are we spending this time this is the reason this is the very reason i have been made a minister right by the authority of god and a servant to his body which is the church so that in his detailed plan i would fully equip you with the word of god actually if this thing if this thing happens this is not good for christian business if i fully equip you with the word of god then it is not good for the christian business i saw a video this morning some african pastor said we have to pour coca cola on you and droves of people are standing with coca cola and fanta bottles and he is pouring and they are taking bath anointed coca cola we need to keep the people there right to make the business run but if we fully equip you with the word of god then christian business won't run anything you call me i will pray and ask the will of god for you anything you call me i will come and do it for you anything you call me you know i give you the number i give you this i give you that uh is a way to do the christian business to make you dependent on some man of god right if you know how to ask god and receive from god men men of god are thinking that they will lose their place but that's not the truth right when you truly truly learn to receive from god you would learn to honor the men of god in your life too anyone who is truly listening to god never comes to the place oh god speaks to me that's more than enough i don't need any men of god he will never come to that place if he's truly listening from god but at the same time men of god should understand the reason why ministry is given is to fully equip you with the word of god and let's read 28 verse 28 christ is our message look at some say christ is our message we preach to awaken hearts and bring every person into full understanding of truth why do we preach we preach to awaken hearts to bring every person touch touch five people at least say every person 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 to full understanding of truth can you imagine a church where every person walks in the fullness of the revelation of truth that is called the so called end time church the so called end time church is where every believer walks in the fullness of revelation of truth yeah and the men of god is supposed to equip teach so that you come to the full revelation and he goes on to say that we preach to awaken every heart right it has become my inspiration and passion in ministry to labor with a tireless intensity with his power flowing through me to present 
to every believer the revelation of being his perfect one in Jesus Christ wow half of you did not understand with tireless intensity i minister to you i minister to labor with tireless intensity with the power of god flowing through me to present to every believer the revelation of being his perfect look at somebody and say you can be his perfect you can be his perfect one you didn't hear what i said you can be his perfect one in christ jesus and so when man of god was saying uh he he was saying that you know we we often pray whenever you know, when i fall you pick me what's that song when i fall down you pick me when you when i'm dry you fill my cup you are my all in all right we we sing that song and we do all those things and we feel good somehow we feel good about crying don't we you know if you have really cried 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 for one hour in his presence somehow you feel you've done your job <laughs> yeah and again you know most of the believers read only psalms and proverbs kumar kaati kudutrada apindra mari ukkandirukke <laughs> why because we don't understand colossians efficiency no so we don't even come there we just stay in psalms we understand my god my god why did you forsake me <laughs> we like it resonates our heart take his kid and dash against the wall let them all beg for bread <laughs> so all kind of your prayers are all fully voiced out in psalms if you're depressed you have got depressing psalms if you're really happy you've got happy psalms if you're really angry also you call mad kind of a psalms if you also want to question god you're like god hey what happened you know <laughs> no sound grass will come <laughs> he's saying if you don't turn now i will be buried and pullu molachirum apdi solran so all sorts of psalms are there so we like psalms we love psalms and we think it is very spiritual activity to cry and pray and quote psalms no it's not no it's not honestly think about it uh david lived how many years before jesus some almost uh, it's a big number okay <laughs> how many years akbar's rule very long <laughs> almost 800 900 years right before jesus that's the a revelation that he walked in and he has written but we have everything there right so we have elelion jehova sitkenu jehova e ire jehova jaire jehova rofeka jehova rua and uh, uh, what else we have jehova shamma then nisi jehova shalom yeah jehova sitkenu then what else mekadish hmm? mekadish then then we have uh, kabodi right kabod he is my glory and um, jehova makeshi megen make mawzi mekadushim Malekolam, Mepati, Mehash, Me, Mashiach, Nisi. All these things are there in the Old Testament. Right? We have all these things. But you never find Jesus saying any of these things. 
he just introduced us to the father that's the present truth that jesus want us to walk in that doesn't mean ehova you are not supposed to sing songs saying ehova ruah or anything but i'm saying you are having a higher revelation than jehova ire or jehova ruah everything all of those revelations put together in one name is called father and jesus and jesus has brought you to the father he is the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father look at some say have you come to the father how many of you have come to the father can i see your hand if you have come to the father some of you are not sure and like adathena kepan theriyum if you have come to the father did you stay with him or you just visited him say bye and just you just said just dropped in to say hi and you kept going hmm have you come to the father that's why jesus did what he did what did jesus exactly do to us he revealed his father so by revealing his father to us what has happened to us come with me to 26 of chapter 1 in colossians listen carefully to every word there is a divine mystery a secret surprise that has been concealed from the world for generations but now look at some say but now but that now is 2000 years old that now is not now now that now is before you could finish reading colossians and come to understanding how many years have gone 2000 years have gone 2000 years ago paul said for generations this mystery was concealed but now it has been revealed to us but now it is being revealed unfolded and manifested for every holy believer to experience what is that mystery living within you living within you is the christ who floods you with the expectation of glory christ in you is the hope of glory that's a mystery look at somebody in the eye and say christ in you is the hope of glory my goodness christ in you christ in you is the hope of glory hope means confident expectation that's why it says expectation of glory who is this christ right this mystery of christ embedded within us look at somebody and say embedded within you this mystery of christ embedded within us becomes a heavenly treasure chest say heavenly treasure chest of hope filled with riches of glory for his people and god wants everyone to know it then he continues christ is our message we preach so that every man will become perfect so if you want to become perfect in him you should understand this mystery this mystery which is christ in you and the more and more you understand it the more and more your life changes 
and there is no possibility for you to live defeated lives if you understand this but the problem is you are all still happy with old testament truths when i fall down you pick me up when i am dry you fill my cup do you know there is a place in him where you don't fall where you don't run dry Yes. What is Jude twenty four say? Now to him who is able to keep you from falling. Right? Look at something. Say he is able to keep you from falling. Look at him say he is able to keep you from falling. That means you can be in a place where you don't fall. You take one step and five steps backward. Take one step forward, five steps backward. You need not be like that if you understand New Testament truths. why it's a mirror it's a mirror the word of god is a mirror how many of you saw a mirror this morning before you came here if you saw a mirror yeah you had a look at it whom did you see when you looked at in the mirror what whom did you see you saw yourself right yeah look at somebody and say i'll tell you a precious truth whenever you look into the mirror you see yourself see some people say this mirror is making me look fat no 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 people in pain often look for people to blame mirror is not supposed to be blamed see one day my sister went to a shop and she took the dress she tried the dress and she came and asked the shopkeeper is this dress making me f- look fat he, he was like <laughs> <laughs> mirror is making me f- look fat dress is making me look fat na no. look at somebody and say mirror shows you the reality when you look at the word the bible says you're looking at the mirror meaning you're looking at whatever it says how you are that's how you look you might not feel it just like how you're seeing the mirror and you might is it showing me little short right you might feel 101 things but the mirror just shows you it's a reflection it shows you so the problem with today's christianity is they are looking for feeling to validate rather than just accepting what the mirror if you just accept the mirror what it says do you know your life will be much better amen brother i don't feel it he is just married two days one and a half days <laughs> already he is not feeling married you don't feel married am 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 talent how long you have been married seven months do you feel married all the time <laughs> no at times you wake up in the bed and see my goodness i'm married <laughs> you don't feel married all the time yeah but that doesn't change the fact of your union that doesn't change the fact of your union 
brother i don't feel anointed i don't feel i don't feel you come there will be a ring in your ears you might feel it you don't feel everything you know do you think i every sunday morning i feel like coming and preaching to you honestly think about it especially after coming and seeing you all do you think my feeling still persists like on high level i'm like all super pumped to preach to you when you sit and look at me like that yeah sometimes i don't feel a thing in some of the most powerful meetings i have not felt a thing people might be falling left right and center and i wouldn't have felt anything nothing people will say brother ninga tottone shock adicha marundadu seri sandosham da okay <laughs> good for you <laughs> when you placed your hands i felt an electric shock when you placed your hands i felt cold water come on me when you felt when you placed hand i fire came upon me okay okay good for you all didn't feel a thing feeling is good look at him say feeling is good but it's not trustworthy it's not trustworthy somebody gives you a call and tells you address and say is this your address right now and you're saying yes no you know some burglar broke into your house and you know and how will you feel you'll feel all things and you will get up and quickly go into the car rush and go da, 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 go to the apartment and you see it's the next door instead of a he said b <laughs> right m41 instead of m41 n41 that's it all your feelings so far you felt everything but it was based on a lie yes you did feel it yes you took actions on it you went and reacted but your house is safe but whatever you felt was based on a lie so how do you know how do you trust so you don't trust your feelings you trust the facts of god yes he will give you feelings whenever you want him to feel you he will give but you cannot be there itself and become mature and become perfect in him for you to become perfect in him you have to come to a place where you look at the facts of god as in a mirror and you see it and you say yes Amen. why look at do do like this this is the secret of transformation second corinthians 318 second corinthians 318 come on read everyone but we all with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror the glory of the lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory just as by the spirit of the lord so as you keep beholding the mirror and whatever it says you are and you are like yes i am yes i am as you keep beholding the spirit of the lord will work and transform you from glory to glory Amen. that's the secret of transformation see tran look at him say transformed by beholding he is not asking you to climb seven mountains and go and you know you know you know find a thing and take that leaf and come all the way back and mix it with the water and put three drops on your head and then you'll be transformed probably if he says that you might do it but just because we are saying just take the scriptures keep beholding 
keep beholding and it's important you behold the new testament truths right you know my mom used to be part of this whole uh read the bible in one year game and you should see my sister and mark stepped up the game made it 3 months when they were in africa they did it in 3 months they read but do you know they were scared of demons reading the bible only because the african pastors told you have come to africa there are demons everywhere there are demons everywhere and they were reading bible <laughs> Pharisees look at him say Pharisees read bible <laughs> devil read bible <laughs> everybody reads bible reading bible doesn't give you power but when you behold as in a mirror meaning when you read something and you're like yes that's who i am amen yes that's who i am if it says i am then that's who i am when you start declaring like that your walk changes your walk changes who is this christ who is in you the hope of glory read from verse 16 colossians chapter 1 verse 16 onwards for by him all things were created look at somebody and say by him in him through him by whose by whom go find all these phrases in the epistles okay read through the epistles and mark whenever such a thing comes by him or in him by whose or through whom avarkul avarale avar moolamai avarkendru hmm kristuvukul so find all these phrases please don't use google okay do the exercise yourself take the bible take a marker and keep marking okay all those things are talking about you amen all those truths are talking about you that's a mirror reflecting your reality you need to know it if you know those things do you know there is no way devil can come and touch you yeah yeah people keep coming and crying brother ore prachana yaar ke brother ore sollunga shake and irute ஒரே பிரச்சனை அவனுக்கு ஆயிரம் பிரச்சனை உனக்கு ஒரே பிரச்சனை தானே ஐம் ஹேவிங் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் டெவில் இஸ் அட்டாக்கிங் மீ பிரதர் டெவில் இஸ் அட்டாக்கிங் மீ ஐம் அட்டாக் ஆன் ஆல் சைட்ஸ் Paul was also attacked on all sides. He was in fact crushed on all sides. But he said, yet not. Yet not. Why why he said that? Why he said that? Read. Where does it come? 2 Corinthians chapter 4 Hmm? Verse 8 We are hard pressed on every side yet not crushed Look at him say we are hard pressed on every side yet not crushed How Read the previous two verses For it is God who commanded light to shine out of darkness who has shown in our 
hearts to give the light he has a revelation about something what is that revelation he, he gave the light of the knowledge of the glory of god in the face of jesus verse 7 but we have this treasure in earthen vessels the excellence of the power may be of god and not of us so there is a treasure kept in the earthen vessel a earthen vessel is supposed to get crushed when there is pressure from outside but this earthen vessel is not getting crushed even though hard pressed on every side because of the treasure that is inside earthen vessel there is jcb from every side pressing the man bandam man bandam apdi ukandirukku why it's not crushed because there is a diamond inside what's that treasure christ in you is the hope of glory christ in you is the hope of glory who is this christ colossians 116 onwards colossians 116 onwards Actually Christ in you hope of glory comes around 25 26 right so from 16 he begins talking about this Christ the topic heading says the preeminence of Christ right yeah for by him all things were created that are in heaven that are on earth visible invisible thrones dominions principalities powers all things were created through him and for him did you even read what he said for by him all things were created that are in heaven that are on earth visible invisible thrones dominions principalities or powers all these things are in him and he is in you as the hope of glory idu over ya mari irukke everything is in him we are all able to accept everything in heaven message version says he is so roomy that everything finds its perfect place in him right he is so roomy some of our houses are so crowded that you put all the jama you have to stand like this may your houses increase after you put everything let it be so roomy right for all the stuff that we have in the loft in self we need a house that's why whenever we go looking for a house we keep going like this <laughs> and the owners know with the angle of your neck so they will say we have one more loft in that room <laughs> <laughs> christ is so roomy everything finds its place in him rulers dominions powers everything consists in him and he is in you amen amen no. no. everything in heaven and everything in earth everything is in you amen because he is it's in him and he is in you right he is like the treasure chest of glories that means there is so much we preach to awaken every heart awaken meaning awareness what does awareness mean you know uh, give me that ring diamond ring she's got quite a few rings all right <laughs> and and this one when when did we get a year ago because the one that we previously got we sold and may you sow diamond rings right 
God bless you for, you know, one fellow has the faith too. <laughs> it seems when Malaysian pastors got down <laughs> from the airport, one pastor looked at him and said, Hey, you don't know how to go to the church. You don't know how to go to the Diamond. Just imagine giving you diamond. I have diamond. Let's see. And if there is a good possibility, I forget it. I have, but I'm not aware of it. Many times Kishore will order something for life up. We'll order it, it'll come, it'll be delivered, but he will not know. <laughs> Even if it is given to his hands, he might not open it. Because why his wife is laughing so much is because she is the one who receives the courier. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have ordered, look at some say, you've ordered the parcel. <laughs> Father has delivered the parcel. Everything you need is in that parcel. But you don't even open it. You don't even open it. You don't even realize what is in there. But we keep crying with the Old Testament prayers and songs. Seek Him. Press in. Press on. Where the package is delivered. In us. Everything. Rulers, dominions, powers, everything in him and him in you. I'm asking people, hey, are you spending time with your family and you're saying, no, I'm not able to spend time. Why? I'm in such a shift. Okay. So, no, I went and asked for a shift change. They did not accept. Okay, so? So, what to do? I'm working. Do you know, if you understand rulers, dominions, principalities is within you, you can shift things. Amen. You don't keep working in some dumb shift because that's how, that's the opening you have. No. That's not how it works. Joseph, was put in the prison. The Bible says, everything that was happening in the jail was under his control. N not in terms of physical thing, even though it is included. Everything he decided how it has to happen. He decided these two guys will have the dream. And he will interpret it. He decided the king will have the dream. Because you know that's his gift. He controlled the whole thing sitting in a cell. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. If you really know who Christ is. Who Christ is. And who is He in you. You will not be at a disadvantage at any point in your life. Amen. Have you ever seen Jesus at a disadvantage? Have you ever seen Jesus go OMG? Oh my God. 
only on the cross my god my god that was when when he took your place <laughs> when he had to play your role he cried out my god my god because that's what we all do whenever he played his role as a son he never uttered the word god he always said father and he had absolute control of everything that was happening that doesn't mean everything was positive right storm came pharisees came sadducees came uh, peter was there you know you know judas was there i mean he wanted to know he is in absolute control right he is in getsemane and these guys have come judas has come sheepishly is coming to come to kiss him right and jesus knows all his disciples are here and he is uh uh he is asking whom are you searching for right whom are you did jesus know or not he knew just for his buddy's sake he is asking this question whom are you searching for and they are saying with all their spears and everything and the roman gods you are looking for jesus of nazareth and he turns and says i am and <laughs> the entire bang fell to the ground he said i am and bang everybody falls and he looks and says actually what he was telling his disciples was guys they are not taking me i am taking them <laughs> <laughs> i am in perfect control of what's happening before pilot he is standing pilot is saying hey i will do this i will do that you know i will release you he is like <laughs> you do your job i am doing my job perfect control never under the dis disadvantage only water you have no problem only five loans you have no problem storm is coming no problem my goodness that christ is in us Amen. as a hope of glory how can we be at a disadvantage how can we say because this is happening because that's happening <gasps> we preach to awaken every heart to the understanding of full truth may your hearts be awakened to the reality of who you are christ is in you as the magnet that attracts every good thing in life and you are in christ not only christ is in you you are in christ when you are in christ nobody can touch you unless they touch christ and reach through Amen. people are freaking out because there is a corona virus in facebook sending friend request <laughs> <laughs> will you be my friend <laughs> and people are really scared to click confirm <laughs> poor fellow one chinese guy sneezed in new zealand in a bus did you read that news so this new zealand woman shouted at him why don't you go home and sneeze rather than come and kill us all right kingdom invasion conference john got cancelled in singapore kingdom invasion conference got cancelled in singapore they are refunding the conference money thousands of people have booked their flights hotel accommodation everything cancelled 
and the coordinator sends a message saying, we are really sorry. We have to take a call, very tough call. Right? But Charlie Champ, he is a man with a message. He learnt it from Cobus. So he organized meeting in Taiwan and flew right into Taiwan and had the conference. The world is looking for answers. People are searching for truth. But the church is doing something else. It's high time we accomplish what the church is supposed to accomplish. <laughs> These verses should disturb you. These passages of scripture should disturb you. Because these are not the promises of God. The greatest deception in the body of Christ is enemy takes a fact of God and converts into promise and gives to you. So you keep praying. Paribhūrna paduttuviraha swami. Read uh, Colossians 1.19. We are, we are in 16, right? Let's, let's go one by one. Did we finish 16? Yeah, let's do 17. And he is before? My goodness. Look at some said, the one who is in you is before all things. And in him all things consist. And in him, all things consist. In him, all things consist. And he is in you. Look at somebody and say, everything you need is already in you. See, this is how it works. Let me say, tell you something. Okay? Do you know in the realm of the spirit, even now here, seers, you know, like, you know, if you talk to Janani or Renu Topo, they might tell you these things. That they see people as light. In the realm of the spirit, you're all a light. If you're walking in revelation, your light will be glowing. When you're believing lies, your light is dim. That's how prophets see and they come and start praying for deliverances. So when you read the word and agree to it, do you know that your light starts shining bright? Your light in the realm of the spirit would start shining brighter and brighter when you agree with the truth every time. And you can agree with the lies of the enemy every time. In him, all things consist. Say, in me, all things consist. All things consist. things consist. Mm. All things consist in me. Look at the next verse. Wow. He is the head of the body, the church. Who is the beginning? The firstborn from the dead that in all things that he may have the preeminence. What does this verse mean? Firstborn from the dead, 
that in all things he may have the preeminence come to life conference okay that's where i'll explain that verse next verse for it pleased for it pleased the father that in him all the fullness should dwell oh my goodness it pleased the father that all the fullness should dwell in him and he should dwell in you come with me to 29 next chapter verse 9 29 put it in amplified for him in him dwells all the fullness of the godhead in bodily form right look at the amplified yeah read for in him the whole fullness of deity the godhead what does that mean the fullness of the godhead meaning there is nothing beyond that the fullness of the godhead continues to dwell in bodily form giving complete expression of the divine nature the fullness of the godhead dwells in him bodily and when it says bodily it's not just talking about his physical body even though that was true it is talking about him being the head and we becoming the body so the fullness of the godhead dwells in him bodily dwells in him bodily why look at the next verse look at the next verse and you are in him made full look at somebody and say made full made full i don't have this i don't have that i don't have this i don't have that that i don't have i don't have mentality is because you haven't looked at the mirror you haven't looked at the mirror properly whenever you're looking at this mirror you are saying this mirror makes me look as if i have everything but i don't look at somebody and say mirror doesn't lie <laughs> mirror says what does the mirror say and you are in him made full and having come to fullness of life in christ you too are filled wow in christ you too are filled with the godhead the father the son and the holy spirit and reach full spiritual stature and in him you too look at him say in him you too <laughs> in him you too have the fullness that's why he was never at a dis- disadvantage he never felt pressure to perform he never felt anxious thoughts not because every cir- circumstance situation was super good because the fullness was dwelling in him mm. see when you are complete some of you might be thinking if i am complete like that i don't need marriage some of you mind voice <laughs> if i'm so complete and so perfect in him i won't need marriage exactly you won't need marriage but you will enjoy marriage <laughs> currently you are needing marriage that's why it's a trouble marriage is a need for you right now that person to make you complete so whenever that person is not talking to you or spending time you are like feeling all the more incomplete but when you are complete in him you come into a marriage 
giving, revealing, overflowing, and you enjoy marriage. Because real pleasure is in giving. Real pleasure is in giving. I mean, some of you are looking so utterly petrified <laughs> that you can reach such a place in marriage. That you can be so complete and you can give. Most of you are Katirindu, Katirindu. Kalangal Povudamma. Half of you switched off your brain. <laughs> Look at some say, in him you are not waiting. You have received the parcel. The parcel has been duly delivered. It's for you to unpack. See? One person came and gifted me. Sweet from our city. I am going to over parcel, I want to march to the village. I want to go to the village. I want to go to the village. I want to go to the village. See, I can take this home, keep it till it rots. Right? <laughs> yeah? On the other hand, I can. <laughs> no, 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 no. I won't share. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in Christ. Fullness. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? No good. No gift, as perfect as it is, is of any use unless you open it and make it your own and become aware of it. May your hearts be awakened to the reality of Christ in you. Every waking moment, your walk will be different. Your talk will be different. The way you see challenges will be different. The way you see, you know, you know, you know. see, you might be thinking, where will I apply this truth in my... You, you just look your life, you will see plenty of vortices. O for opportunities. <laughs> right? So many opportunities. To apply this message in marriage, in finances, in health, in driving, in Chennai, everywhere you can apply in Christ realities. This is real stuff. This is real stuff. This is real stuff. There was this man of God called Benson Idahosa. Actually, they named Benson after his name. Benson Idahosa. Nairi man in Nigeria. He was in a time where the witches and the warlocks were ruling the country. He said, not under my watch. They were gathering an international witch conference. Advertised. And said, 
in such a such a date, such a such a time, in this stadium, which is from all over the world, will gather for a conference. Some of you are so naive about this whole witches thing, like, which, which conference? <laughs> witches, okay? Palli Sonia. So he went on air, he went on news media, he called the news media and he said, uh, I want to tell, as long as I am alive, such conferences will not happen in my country. They said, no, but they have got the permission, they have got this, they have got that. He said, they might have got permission from the government, but they did not get permission from me. <laughs> he said, it's not happening. And he challenged any witch who is willing to challenge me, come on this national live channel and challenge me. You are free to use any power. You are free to kill me. If you kill me, you are not responsible. But same holds true. <laughs> same rule holds true. If you come and challenge me in the television channel and if you drop dead, then I am not responsible. And he said, come. He gave so many days. Not one fellow came. Not one fellow came. And some natural catastrophe happened on that day and they cancelled the conference. Rulers, dominions, powers, authorities. See, that's why I'm not for this whole Facebook barking thing. <clears throat> that's not how you exercise authority over rulers and dominions. It's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual thing. You should know. You should know. If you know, see our job is to equip you. And when you know, you will never be at a disadvantage. Right? Just a couple of verses and we go. Let's read uh, John 1, 16. And of his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. Say of his fullness we receive. Of his fullness we receive grace upon grace. Grace meaning of his fullness we receive. That's what grace is all about. Of his fullness we receive. When you walk in this awareness, there is no way any sickness can touch you. When you walk in this awareness, there is no way you will be at a disadvantage at any point. It says, right? Is it 10.19, Luke 10.19 or 10.29? Nothing by any means shall hurt you. 10.19 Behold, look at some say behold. behold. I give you all authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over. Over? Come on everyone. And nothing by any means shall hurt you. Nothing by any means shall hurt you. Look at somebody and say, devil is attacking me, brother. Just tell them, devil is attacking me, brother. And ask them, who is attacking whom? 
ask them, who is attacking whom? Who is attacking whom? Hmm? Devil should be telling his brother <laughs> that this brother is attacking me, brother. <laughs> but this brother is telling his brother that the devil's brother is attacking this one. Brother, brother, and solely devil, eh? Brother, I keep telling Nothing. Shake somebody and say nothing. nothing. By any means. Shall hurt you. If you don't like something in your life, what to do? Change it. That's right. If you don't like something, change it. You have the power to do it. You have the power. See, this is not this whole self-help thing. Unnal mudiyum tambi. That's not what this message is about. <laughs> you can do this thing. You can win. No, no, no. You and I know. I know about you. You know about me. We are talking about Christ in us. We are talking about in Him. In Him. Unfortunately, this whole self-help thing, they have taken everything of these things and they just removed in Him. In fact, some people go on to say, Christ consciousness. They say, everybody had Christ consciousness. Christ consciousness is not a person thing, it's the awakened state of the Kim Yong Kyang. When you have reached the enlightened state, you are the Christ to this world. Because Jesus reached the enlightened state, he could say, I am. When you also reach the enlightened say, state, you will say, I am. Say, I am. I am. Slay it slowly. Get up everyone. Yep, serious up Pesra, yep, Pavala run it, Terry Madi. See, I don't care whether they removed the uterus or removed anything. If you want a baby, you're supposed to have a baby. It really doesn't matter. No. No. Don't pray for money. You know why you should not pray for money? Because money is not what you need. Honestly think about it. Is money what you need? You want what money can do. That's what you need. But you are still praying for money. Because your focus is wrong. You think Money is a problem. I need money, I need money, I need You don't need money. What you need is what money can do. And when you know that is already granted, that can happen in so many ways other than literally money coming into your hands. There are two things, right? I need a car. Or I start praying for money to buy a car. You just need a car. So don't start praying for money. You need a car. That's it. 
like i want a car car will come not necessarily money i mean uh, when did janani prophesy what day on 18th janani prophesied over priscilla and mark what exactly did she prophesy she said surprise surprise god wants to give you a red color car okay this she said on 18th and 21st danny and jessica they're getting married and we are all getting onto the stage to greet them to give moi okay and uh they're shaking hands and danny is looking at mark and saying you know will you stay for some time or are you going now so i was just thinking and this guy has got job tonight you know why is he wanting to know you know who is going to stay so we all went ate got ready got into the car mark came and took the eco somebody came came running and said uh, danny and jessica wants you on stage so they went and this guy on his wedding day takes his car key red color chip and says god told me to give you this car right in my wedding day and he gives the key on his wedding day on the wedding stage and they come and see a red car and they were sharing this in the car and my kids were there and janani was there they were dropping janani in that car so while janani was getting down karis said can you prophesy over me <laughs> Janani stood there and prophesied over all the four kids. Everybody said for me, for me and, and we recorded. She gave some wonderful words to them and we played that word over them and explained those words to them. And then Shalom was asking, "No, no. Actually, I didn't ask her these things." She said red color car to them and they got red color car like that I wanted to, her to tell something to me <laughs> I said okay whatever you want you tell Jesus you know she is just hearing from Jesus and telling and you can also ask Jesus My point is this You don't need money. You just need to know and what you already have. And from that you can draw. You can draw as much as you want. As we draw near to the Lord's table, may you have awakened hearts. May you have the revelation of the fullness of truth come on start praying in the spirit start praying in the spirit le bro kalbana shender maldo no ho rebekete le bran kaldo no hol biriantra hada hoshi anta dekete don't take my message wrong Don't go and sleep in the house and say okay I am not supposed to do anything I am not saying that I am not saying that Malco rebantel crudona ma silbara dun palehete ribantal kati antro hoto koshete Honestly you know put romans 8 10 and 11 in the amplified 
Romans 8, 10 and 11 in the Amplified. This is so important. Come on, read. But if Christ lives in you, look at some say, if Christ lives in you, then although, then although your natural body is dead by reason of sin and guilt, the spirit is alive because of righteousness that he imputes to you. Verse 11. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, then he who raised up Christ Jesus from the dead will also restore life to your mortal, meaning short-lived, perishable bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. If Christ lives in you, spirit is alive because of righteousness and through that life-giving spirit, your bodies shall be quickened. This is the ultimate reality of Christ in you. If Christ is in you, then your bodies shall be quickened. Look at somebody say that your bodies shall be quickened. Because of the spirit of Christ who lives in you. And I was thinking, what songs do we have in Romans? 8, 10, and 11. What songs do we have in Romans 8, 19 on manifested sons? What songs do we have in Colossians 1? We don't have songs. We don't have songs. The church need to arise its level. It has to move away from Psalms and Proverbs and this and that and come into the present truth that belongs to us. That's our reality. Not singing David's reality, but to sing our reality. May the songwriters arise. May the book writers arise. I'm working on my second book called Swallowed Up by Life, which is the first book that I worked, which was really not released. We'll be re planning to release that during the live conference. somebody and say do you know that you are his body <laughs> and Christ is your head You should know what you're taking part in. Come stay. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah, just close your eyes. Meldorama Kopishiantara. Start praying in the spirit, everyone. What you're taking part is.
body of Christ body of Christ body of Christ meldara kalbono shetela prahatul manahati atu and you are complete in him and you are complete in him and you are complete in him you are complete in him complete 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 in him lacking nothing lacking nothing lacking nothing take part together marana dai jaitavare let's do this song every hand lifted up marana dai jaitavare
Ashe Kalbana Nora Diante Lebra Koche Lebra Halbana Hashi Ambra Hatala Kate Rebuto source of life to many wherever you go life shall manifest lift your hands in the name of Jesus fire of God upon his life
Christ, there is no male, no female. Whatever has been put upon you culturally, saying as a woman you can't do this, you can't go there, you can't do these things, it's very dangerous. Those things shall be broken because of in Christ reality. You are not a woman in Christ. You are in Christ as He is. As He is. Every eye closed. The fire of God is coming upon you. On all the women. Yes. Receive the touch of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Take, 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 take. Chains are falling off. Chains are falling off. Chains are falling off. I speak freedom. Melara Kora Valtere Mentoriante. and go to nations like Afghanistan and all those countries to declare the word of God. They shall show what is possible in Christ. Your identity shall not be a man or a woman. shall be in Christ shall be in Christ shall be in Christ now let me pray for all the men may every false identity that you have as a man be gone and may you have your identity as in Christ where you are truly celebrating everyone truly celebrating everyone around you. Maldo Cromendel Baraha Shanto Lebrege Tolba Nigrebe Ture Labrianto Naman Koshi Yes. Thank you Holy Spirit. this generation with the reality of the gospel we owe an encounter to this generation as a church we owe an encounter to the nations of the world say Lord let these words become flesh in us 
flesh in us. Let these words be made flesh in us.